Hello. In the video you're about to see, you get to see a close-up of my gigantic hands messing with spaces for what feels like an eternity, while I vainly install a USB hub board to my Nano DE10. You'll be amazed to hear that it does actually work, and everything's working fine. But uh, this video is really, it's, it's an exercise in bad framing. You have been warned. Thank you. Hello, it's Audio Base Chris here. And uh, today I have dismantled my mister uh, for reasons that will become apparent momentarily. I've taken it apart because I am adding a USB hub to it. Uh, this is a lovely little board, pretty simple to install. Uh, first things you have to do is use this little adapter and you put it on the pins, making sure it's the way, right way around. And it just slots onto the pins like so. There we go, and that slots into the Mister board. But before I put the uh, put the board on, I'm going to make sure I've got some screws lined up so uh, it's all nice and shiny. So I'm going to put some screws in the bottom plate here. Actually, first things first, I'm going to need this bottom plate. And I'm going to need a couple of spacers. So, spacers in the bottom. Uh, like so. And that is for the bottom plate to screw into. And I am aware that I am actually doing this the stupid way. So let's uh, get these screwed in to this bottom plate before I do anything else. Just gonna finger tighten them first. Once I've got everything assembled, then I will get the old screwdrivers out and tighten everything up. It's a little bit confusing how to assemble the uh, hub with these plates. I do have quite a few spaces floating around, but you want to be careful. Right, okay, so that goes on so, and hopefully this will just float on top. No. Like that. Bit of finagling. Okay. Looking okay so far. And now it's going to be spaces all the way down, baby. Add a spacer to the tops of these spacers. Spacer, 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 spacer. That's getting in the way that little adapter, I might have to take it off again. Again, I'm just doing everything finger tight at the moment. Alright, so that's the hub now attached to the bottom plate. Take the mister. And 
Okay, we're gonna have a problem here, so I'm gonna to have to take this off first. And I'm actually going to attach it to the mister first. This is probably a really bad idea, but never mind. Okay, now, a little bit of careful lining up. When I say careful lining up, I mean careful lining up. Make sure those pins are lined up nice and straight. Let's push it on. Okay. That's on top there. And finally, bring in this top plate. Uh, make sure that's in the right position. The old screwed wrong grow. I imagine there are multitudes of people laughing at the way I've done this. And they have every right to laugh. This doesn't feel like I've done a particularly good job of it. Be careful of that. Be careful of that little adapter there. Try not to fat finger it too much. Using the little screwdriver here because I don't want to get the big scary one on it. Man that wrestles with spaces, the eternal struggle. Um, I am toying with the idea of replacing this case fairly soonish, anyway, but uh, in the meantime, let's try and make it so at least it's kind of respectable that's kind of it comes with a splitter so just for a laugh let's hook that in and that then connects to your power supply just jabbed a pin on my finger which was nice Yeah, that, that's that's a fairly poor job on my part, but it's going to have to do for now. Um, I will attempt to uh, make this a little less awful very shortly. Right, anyway, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed this. Yeah. Thanks, bye.